Hello and welcome to a cold windy day in Chicago on this Wednesday walkabout edition for Picks to Flicks. Today we're going to take a look at whether or not the speed you shoot your hyperlapse on your Osmo Pocket makes a difference in vertical motion. It's 50 degrees here in Chicago right now. Really odd for late May. That's, let's see, that's 10 degrees Celsius for those of you in the rest of the world. And uh, tomorrow my wife and I take off to go to Florida to visit my sister and her husband on the Atlantic coast where it's supposed to be close to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So look forward to some videos that I'm gonna take and uh, post on my YouTube channel from this trip. So last week I posted a couple of videos that either directly or indirectly had to do with the hyperlapse function which is recently released by DJI on the Osmo Pocket. One of them was an actual hyperlapse taken walking at 15x and taking in the car at 5x. And then another video was, was on the subject of the Scotty Makes Stuff 4th axis stabilizer and I mentioned how the Osmo Pocket's new feature of hyperlapse is almost a killer wrap for that stabilizer. These videos caused a lot of conversation both on the YouTube channel and the Facebook channel or Facebook pages where I posted them. People were saying that, well, obviously 30 times is going to give less vertical motion and discussion like that. And I got to thinking, what difference does the speed that you're shooting a video have to do with vertical motion? So I put together this rig where I attempted to get both of my Osmo pockets at the same height, securely mounted, facing the same direction, and I went out for a walk around my neighborhood produced this video, one at 15x speed and one at 30x speed, and then in post-processing, slowed them down to where they were basically the same speed. Take a look and see what you think. Now when you look at these videos, try not to get distracted by the fact that the video on the right, the 15x video, is more herky-jerky. This is primarily due to the fact that it's taken at half the number of frames as the one on the left. So what do you think? Do either one of these videos show more vertical motion than the other one? I have to tell you, in my opinion, I'm surprised. From what I can see, clearly the one on the right has more vertical motion. And I'll be darned if I can figure out why. The cameras were mounted right next to each other at exactly the same level, rigidly connected by a metal bar. So I can't really figure out why one would show more motion than the other one. I honestly thought that when I slowed these videos down, they'd be virtually identical other than the difference in frame rates. But as you can see, there's a lot more motion on the right. So if you've got any ideas why that may be and serious ideas about why you think this is, please post below and we'll get a discussion started. I know I can't quite figure it out, 
but I'm an engineer and I like puzzles and this sure is a puzzle. So that's about it for this quick Wednesday walkabout. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below. If you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of my new videos coming out soon. Thank you for watching. I'm Dennis and this has been Picks to Flicks. Thank you.